Hey guys, so about a month ago, back in April, I said I had something really special for you guys. And that was in this R720 XD, where I showed you how I had a H310 Mini that had IT firmware on it. And since then, um, I've been working on another project uh, to bring another option for the uh, 12th gen Dell servers. So once again, and it's been about a month uh, and a week, I have another special uh, something to show you guys. So this is the R720 XT and uh, let's take a look inside. So let me pull this riser out so you have a better view. Uh, right here, I don't know if you recognize this card, but that is not an H310 Mini. This is actually a H710 Mini, and you might recognize it if uh, I kind of show you the battery that goes on it usually. All right, so this is a RAID card, and this is the battery for the cache. And this is based on the LSI SAS 2208 chipset, and it's a proper real RAID card. And of course, you know, if you're watching my channel, you know that we're all about HBAs and IT mode cards and things for ZFS and Unraid and that kind of stuff. So this would normally not be suitable choice for uh, ZFS or anything like that. But here's the interesting thing about the 2208 and if you recall from a video I did a while ago on a super micro motherboard the x9 uh, was a dr7 which has also a onboard sas 2208 hardware raid controller because the architecture of the 2208 is so similar to the 2308 which is an IT mode HPA controller you can actually run the IT mode, the 2308 IT mode firmware on the 2208. And I showed you how that was done on the Super Micro motherboard. And I've been trying to do it on this H710 for about the last five weeks. And it's been quite the journey. I've bricked this card probably more than uh, two dozen times. Um, I've taken it to firmware hell and back several times, thinking that it was probably done for and uh, but somehow I've managed to always revive it and a lot of times it required the EEPROM programmer um, That I've shown you in the other video when I recovered the H310 mini that was bricked um, but anyway So today I'm going to show you this H710 running the 2308 IT mode firmware All right, so keep that in mind. This is not um, the H310. This is the H710 running the IT mode firmware for the SAS 2308 and this is the battery that normally comes with it and I've taken it off because the IT mode firmware doesn't need this and so uh, let me go put this guy together and power it on and I'll show you um, what's in there all right all right so here I am uh, with the iDRAC virtual console app up on that server so let's go ahead and power this guy on all right we see configuring memory which is the usual and then after that we'll see the configure iDRAC and normally after the iDRAC message is when uh, we'll see the invalid PCI card in internal storage slot if the card isn't going to work um, if instead you see the Dell logo, then that's a good sign. That means the card passed the test. So after this message, initializing iDRAC. So after this, if you see the uh, Dell logo, then you're kind of in the clear. And so that's uh, a good sign. And hopefully that's what we're going to see here. All right, so here's the Dell logo. And that means that the card has passed that initial test. And so that's good news. Uh, basically, if you can get the card in a point uh, at that point, then you know there's a good chance that you'll be able to flash the IT mode firmware on it. 
So here we have the Avago Technologies BIOS ROM post message. This is coming from the H710 card that is running the 2308 IT firmware. It's now scanning the HBA and as you can see SAS 2308-IT uh, version uh, P20 and all my hard drives and SSDs are uh, shown as well. So we're going to continue to let this guy boot up. All right, so let's go ahead and log in here. And I'm gonna get the IP address and I'm just gonna log in remotely instead of through this console app because um, this tends to be a little bit faster. Okay, so let's do LSPCI first. You know what, let me minimize this so so here we see the uh, card as a SAS uh, SCSI controller right and that's um, the PCI class for that is 0107 the uh, vendor ID is 1000 and the product ID is 0087 so this is the product ID for the SAS 2308 and as it was the case with the H310 and the H200s and all the, uh, the other cards I've gotten to work in Dell's internal slots, the key factor has been this subsystem uh, vendor and product. So uh, the subsystem vendor is 1028, which is for Dell, and the product uh, subsystem is 1F38. So this is the original uh, subsystem IDs for the H710. So I basically kept those intact for this card to work uh, in the mini monolithic slot. So that's really the, the key factor as it has been in the other cards. The, the main challenge is that the uh, H710's SBR format is drastically different than the H310. And so I had to do a lot of fiddling with that and uh, kind of a lot of trial and error and, and various other things. So anyway, um, so there you have that. And let's go ahead and show you the output from SAS to Flash. So here uh, it's identifying the controller as SAS 2308, but remember this is actually a SAS 2208 chipset that is compatible with the SAS 2308 firmware. And again, uh, I did uh, something like this with a Supermicro onboard 2208 um, several videos ago. I'll put a card up in this uh, section to, to that video, so if you want to check that one out too. But basically the 2208 chipset and 230 chipset are architecturally very, very similar. And uh, the 2208 is able to run the 2308 firmware. And so that's what we've basically done here. And as you can see, it's identifying this as the uh, SAS 9207-8i and uh, I have the BIOS and uh, UEFI stuff flashed as well. So uh, yeah, so there you have it. This is the uh, 2208 hardware RAID controller running the 2308 IT mode firmware. And uh, this machine has 12 hard drives. So just kind of show you that it's able to see all of those. So I've got 12 Hitachi uh, SATA drives and then I've got two Intel SSDs as well. And I believe um, I have these in a ZFS pool. So this is all working through that RAID card that is now running IT mode firmware. All right, so I've got a RAID Z2 set across these 12 drives uh, just for testing and whatnot. So uh, yeah, so there you have it guys. Now you might be wondering, okay, so you know, a month, and a week ago or so, back in April, right, I showed you guys how I had a H310 Mini with IT mode firmware running, and basically it kind of does the same thing. Uh, gives you IT mode uh, in the Mini monolithic slot uh, without having to use up one of the regular PCI slots. Now, the primary difference between this uh, 2208 running the IT firmware from the 2308 versus the H310 running IT firmware is that this uh, chipset is a newer generation 
and it supports PCIe 3.0, whereas the H310 only supports PCIe 2.0. Now, they're both uh, eight PCIe lanes uh, cards, and so with the PCIe 2.0, you're looking at about four gigabytes per uh, second uh, bandwidth limit uh, on that PCIe bus. With the PCIe 3.0, that PCIe bus gets uh, much faster, uh, up to about, theoretically, about 7.8 gigabytes per second. So let me just kind of show you uh, to confirm that. So we know the PCI uh, address here is this. So um, PCI, and I will just uh, grep for link. So you'll see here that the link uh, capability, okay, is eight giga transfers per second. So that's PCI 3.0 right there. And this is a eight lane uh, card. So that you can see the width is uh, times eight. And the link status, this is actually the speed that it's actually connecting at, um, is at eight giga transfers per second at uh, eight PCI lanes. And so this is a PCI 3.0 uh, eight lane card. And that will be the primary advantage of this uh, H710 with IT firmware over the H310 with IT firmware that I showed you guys uh, last month. So now I have this in a Dell uh, R720 XD with the 12 bay 3.5 inch backplane and in that case this card really isn't that interesting you might as well just um, keep the H310 uh, and the reason being that with uh, three and a half inch spinning hard drives, uh, even when you have 12 of them, it's going to be very difficult to exceed the four gigabytes per second of the PCI bus for the H310. But if you are using SSDs, or let's say you have the R720 XD with the 24 bay, two and a half inch backplane, and you have 24 SSDs, and now grant you, this is still limited to SAS 2, so that's six gigabits per second uh, per SAS lane. But um, if you have the 24 bay, uh, tw two and a half inch uh, backplane, and you're using very fast uh, SAS 2 or SATA 3 SSDs, you might be able to um, exceed the four gigabyte uh, per second bandwidth limit of PCIe 2.0 at eight lanes. And so in that case, having this H710 with IT mode firmware giving you a theoretical bandwidth limit of 7.8 gigabytes per second on the PCI 3.0 bus um, is definitely an advantage that you can take take advantage of uh, with the uh, with the use of SSDs. So if you have a 12th gen Dell server um, and you're using SSDs, then definitely uh, this is probably what you'll want to have. Now, naturally, the next thing you might think that uh, I'm going to say is that, hey, look forward to buying this uh, from my eBay store. And yes, that will eventually happen. Um, but I literally just got this done like an hour and a half to two hours ago. Uh, I've been working on trying to get the H710 to accept the IT mode firmware for about four and a half weeks or so. Literally about the time... Uh, I released a video on the H310 with IT mode firmware. Uh, so a couple days after that, I started on this project. And I have to say, this was quite the challenge. Uh, it wasn't as straightforward as the H310 was, and primarily because the HBR format, or sorry, the SBR format um, on the H710 was very different than uh, on the H310. So if you're going to go now that you know this is possible and you're going to go ahead and try to do this on your own, I would say uh, be ready to brick this card. And so what I mean by that is I had to use my EEPROM uh, programmer to uh, revive this card, you know, at least a dozen, uh, at least two dozen times, if not more. And so if you're planning to do this, prepare yourself for that. Uh, get yourself that EEPROM programmer that I showed you uh, in the video where I recovered the, H uh, the bricked H310. Uh, you're most likely going to need that to, um, you know, in order to have multiple attempts on this because um, it took me several tries to uh, figure out how to get this to work. So, um, so th with that said, I'm still actually in the process of figuring out how to make this uh, 
a flash process consistent. And I this is the only uh, H710 I have currently that I've been working on. And like I said, I've bricked this card uh, at least two dozen, if more, if not more times. And I've been very fortunate that I've been able to recover it. Um, you know, every time I bricked it. So um, I'm not ready to sell these on my eBay store. Is what I'm getting at. And I need some more time to figure out how to make this process more stable and consistently work. Um, when I do uh, achieve that level of consistency where I'm able to produce these, uh, then you will see them on my eBay store. All right, so if you're interested in this, you know, check out my eBay store or send me a message and I'll let you know where I'm at. But uh, this isn't going to be ready, you know, probably not within the week uh, this week because uh, there's some programs I'm going to have to rewrite um, in order to do this uh, in, in an automated fashion. Um, the like I said the SBR format is is very different and so uh, the the usual process that I've been using for flashing the cards that I sell on my eBay store isn't going to work and I I basically had to do some you know manual uh, hex editing and stuff like that to to get this to work so anyway um, wanted to show you share this with you guys because I was actually pretty excited and like I said I literally just got this done uh, about an hour hour and a half ago and this is the first time I've got it to work and uh, good timing because I wanted to make a video today anyway and so I thought uh, I actually had another video idea in mind for today but I just thought like hey you know I wanted to share this guy with you guys and let you know that this is actually possible that it is possible to have a uh, SAS 2308 IT mode card in that mono, uh, mini monolithic slot for the 12th gen Dell servers so anyway I uh, hope you guys like this uh, make sure to hit the like if you did and uh, if you haven't subscribed already remember to subscribe so you'll uh, be up to date with what I'm uh, what I'm up to with uh, flashing firmware and IT mode cards and all that stuff and uh, anyway um, thanks very much for watching have a good day bye bye